I do want to make sure I get through all my examples. For you guys, if you remember, if you're trying to identify dy dx, you're basically going to take d, d over dx of your whole equation, ln of y equals x squared ln of x. So therefore, that's going to be d over dx of ln of y equals d over dx of x squared ln of x. Now again, notice that we're taking the derivative with respect to x. So therefore, we're taking the derivative of y. So make sure we do the derivative, but then we have to include dy dx, which we are solving for. Does everybody see that? Then here, I have to take the derivative. Um, however, is there a problem? Question? Oh, OK. So now we have to go ahead and do the chain rule. And then we need to solve for dy dx. So actually, let's just. Now we'll multiply by the reciprocal. And. Yes, product rule, what I call. Oh, yeah, no chain rule. And then you can just leave that as multiplied out. Okay.